I am the presenter for the role of the ballot counter. Now, who is the ballot counter? Why the ballot counter? What exactly is the role of the ballot counter before the contest, during the contest, and after the contest? I'll be discussing all of these things. And even after I have discussed and you still have a doubt in your mind, you can feel free to drop it in the chat after my training session. And we'll get back to you. Who is a ballot counter in a contest? This is one of the most crucial roles in a contest. A ballot counter works side by side with the chief judge in ensuring that the ballots that are collected from the judges are tallied and totaled properly and you get your winners for any contest. Before the contest, a ballot counter needs to connect with the chief judge and other co-ballot counters to understand your role better. Now, let me tell you why I have mentioned over there, there could be up to three ballot counters. For club level, area, and division, we usually have a minimum number of two. In cases at club level, if we do not get another ballot counter, one also suffices. But at district level contest, we will always have three ballot counters. And do not forget that this chief judge is also the chief ballot counter. A ballot counter, like any other role player contestant, has to also be briefed of what needs to be done and what you need to avoid. So you have to attend the role player's briefing and clear out any queries, any doubts that might be there in your mind. Throw it out there as soon as possible. Receive the updated contest agenda from the chief judge to know the contest time and the contestant's name. This is very, very important for a ballot counter. And we'll get to that as to why. You will be provided with the counter's tally sheet. In the cases of an on-site contest, it's a printed form that is handed over to you. And in case of an online contest, you can just go to Toastmasters resources or in cases if your chief judge is a very proactive person, they usually provide you with the tally sheet mentioning the judges' names on one side and the contestants' name at the top. Let's not forget, your role player in a contest, be early, be professional, and be proactive. Be early because you need to attend briefing with your chief judge and other ballot counters. Be professional. Integrity is the first co-value in Toastmasters. Do not forget that confidentiality and anonymity that comes with this role is extremely important to maintain throughout the contest. So be professional at all times. And be proactive. Be aware of what's going on. If a contestant drops out, what happens? Whether the judges have given, all the judges have given their ballots. So be absolutely aware and alert of what is going on. What happens for a ballot counter during the contest? So we know that after the last contestant is done, there is silence. And that's the time when the ballot counters have to get the ballots from the judges. So let me explain to you two case scenarios. In the, in the case scenario where we are on an on-site contest and you're a ballot counter, what do you need to do? The judges fill up their ballot sheet, put it inside an envelope, seal it, and will raise their hands. All you need to do is go around, collect it from all the judges, and proceed ahead with the chief judge outside the main meeting room. That is on-site contest. Now, coming to the online contest, there are two practices that you would have come across if you have been a ballot counter in the past, or you might come across in the future. The first scenario is where the chief judge receives all the ballots from the judges, and the chief judge and the ballot counters proceed to the breakout room, which is created for them. And that's where the chief judge displays the results on the screen, the ballots on the screen, and you start tallying as a ballot counter. The second situation that 
usually happens is where individual groups whatsapp groups have been created where the whatsapp group will have the judge that particular judge who needs to send the ballot the chief judge and the ballot counters so the that judge who needs to send the ballot sends it right there in that group and it is much easier for the chief judge and ballot counter to confirm that they have received the ballots now when you're collecting the ballots from all these voting judges ensure that you see that the judge's signature and name and winner's names have been filled once you have confirmed this you can proceed to your next step is to look at your tally sheet the beautiful tally sheet that you created during the briefing session and you have to start entering the points first place three points second two points and third place with one point once you have written down recorded all the results from all the ballots compute the totals i'm hoping everybody knows basic arithmetic that is addition i am i am get, i am hoping that we are on the same page i don't have to go into details of addition like i mentioned you have to hand over the ballots to the second counter and they do the same this is in the case of a on site contest in case of online contest i already mentioned this is the best practice is to share the ballots on the screen by the chief judge in the breakout room and get it done fast share the tally sheet only with the cj now this part is completed what does a ballot counter do after this there's still more work to do after the contest you need to delete all the ballots and the tally sheets that are there in your possession that is in case of an online contest but in the case of an on site contest which is happening physically you're there you have to hand over your ballots and tally sheet to the cj and the cj will just dispose them off in the right sense because we have to maintain confidentiality at all times the ballot counters role is in a way you could say is the same as the judges role judges are anonymous same ballot counter is also anonymous like i promised that i'll show you a glimpse of the tally sheet and the judges official ballot on your left hand side you can see the counters tally sheet you have to write down the name of the judges and the name of the contestants at the top and you have to write the totals below it's as simple as it could be and the judges official ballot on your right hand side this is what you will be receiving or that's this is what you will be seeing and from where you'll have to ensure that the required places like i mentioned before is filled once that is filled then only you can move to the next step so do you think you have it in you to be a ballot counter i think so if you still are confused nervous about it we'll get to it for sure thank you everybody for being here today and i would like to give my heartfelt gratitude to our two interpreters just master hur karusa for our arabic interpretation and to master dr hemlata singh for our hindi interpretation couldn't have done it without you dt manel thank you so much and back to you master sir